One of the greatest challenges uh, that the field of transitional justice faces today has to do with uh, an explosion of expectations about what it can actually accomplish. But there is no such thing as a universal policy tool. There is no policy that can uh, redress all sorts of problems. Some people sometimes look at South Africa and think that immediately after the Truth Commission, South Africa became an integrated society. Some people look at the trials of Augusto Pinochet and think that perhaps the easy way out is to wait 20 years until the tyrant is old and infirm and then you can try to prosecute him. Some people look at Spain and they think that perhaps the trick is not to do anything and that time and age is going to take care of these problems. The reality, and I think the important lesson, is that there are no easy answers. International policymakers and those who make decisions and those who have uh, large aid budgets to allocate are under pressure often from their domestic constituencies to show quick results. Sometimes you're really talking about a generational change that needs to take place to really recover from the effects of massive violence. No hay que judicializar la transición de la situación de guerra a la situación de una paz consolidada. Hay que considerar la justicia como un componente, pero hay que mirar el panorama mucho más complejo, más integral. In no place do we see really that transitional justice measures have broken peace accords, have stopped a peace that's been settled, have brought a government down, which are oftentimes the arguments used against justice measures in the immediate aftermath of a change in regime. We don't see that. 